Hello everyone, welcome back to Patrick's Parabox now that we've finished that room intermission. Let's see what's going on here. Let's make sure I'm focused on the correct window for a start. We just came out of Flip where we did a decent amount of progress. We're going to now move into Cycle. No idea what the mechanics here will be, but we'll do our best. We need nine levels to progress. There are nine core levels, six reds and three blues, but we'll start here at the beginning. Okay, so I'm in the green one, which is also this one here, and I can recurse as much as I want through these. Is recurse even the right word? I don't know, but I can push this out of here to get that out. That's fine, and then I can come out of that again, and then I... S oh. Oh. I can't push this to the left because it's not in the center of the thing so I can now do that for one can't push that to the right from here how do I get to the other one there okay a simple enough introduction similar story here except now because this piece is in the center I can go left into it if I need to like that, but let's not do that just yet. So what we need to do is we need to get that yellow one back over so that I can get into it. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> that is a lot going on, isn't it? So I can push up from here. I need to make a path for myself. So from here, we can cycle that to there. Then from here, we cycle that up. And from there, we put that there. And then I can just cut all the way through. Very nice. Okay, so this takes me out to there, but I can not come back in. How am I going to push stuff? Well, I can do that for a start. Move that over, move that over. I can push this up, but once I do, I can't retrieve it. So we need that there to start. And then that there. This green wall blocks us from pushing anything to the left, which means we can now occupy here. So far, everything making sense. Now here, we can either push this to the left and then push everything up, but that doesn't achieve it. Oh no, it does, it does cycle through stuff. It does. And then I block that off so I can come in here. Okay, and then I need to get the one pointing to the right out. How am I going to do that? Interesting. Probably not like this. I can also move this over to here. Oh, wait. No, I can't move down. I can get that out of there, but that doesn't do anything for me. How am I going to get to the right? Definitely not that. This seems simple enough. But then I need to move right into the piece with my home in it. I can't push down from the top of this. Unless I can. Hold on. We put those two in there.
Then put that there. Except. That were... Wait, 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 wait. Can I? I need to push the me one out of the top. So, to do that, all I have to do is line the me one the most at the top. Put that there. And then I can free it. Okay. Five down. Let's try this bonus one. If I come out of here, so we can do this as a cycle as much as we want. But I can move where the gap is by coming out twice. So we just repeat that cycle until the yellow one pops out of the end. Simple stuff. Okay. That is uh, turning things up a notch, isn't it? So now we have multiple versions of the puzzle. So we've seen that before in what I was just calling portals. So we need to make a path for ourselves. This isn't going to move. So we need the vertical piece to match that. But then we need the horizontal and vertical pieces in completely different places as well. So let's start with the last piece. Then do the left. Then do the up. Oh, I need a gap. Oh, mm. I miscalculated. Give me... God, how far back are we? I need... That there that there so that when that goes to the right they match that can come all the way up but I could un press undo once but no obviously I didn't that makes a full cycle for us to go all the way through our little maze to where we're going Love it. Seven down. Back to the next core puzzle. What are we doing? These red pieces. I can put that there. And I can put that there. Good work. Start on the left. Okay. We have four target tiles and our home. So this is going to be one of the target tiles, I presume. So if I put this there, I can't push that down onto those. How am I going to get into that gap at the end? I simply cannot get out of that. What else could be done? If I bring this to here, is this going to go infinite? It is. At least I get a good understanding of that in the process. Can't 
can't do that, but I can do this. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice to luck into a solution every now and again. Right, so on that right-hand side, we have a copy of ourselves that we come out of, but when we go back in, we come into the left-hand side because that's where the center line is. This goes nowhere, but we have a copy of that room here. That does nothing as well. Can I use these red ones? Ah. Can I use those red ones to push that along? I can, in a manner of speaking, but... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Get the yellow one to the end. Then... How do I get that out at this point? Great question. I do that. Push once. That doesn't help me. I'm not entirely sure what that little copy of myself in the bottom right corner is for. Come out and in again. Because I can't move the alternate green one down from here. I can move that up through there. Doesn't exactly help me. No, not seeing that one. But that's fine. We'll carry on to the next core puzzle. A four grid and an extra piece. Trippy. But fairly simple. Okay, what is this rainbow of stuff? They all move one another. So I just need to get closer to my target so that I can move in. Oh, goody. <laughs> what do we have going on here? So these are flipped, which makes sense because... I can't come into here and out of there. So this needs to be flipped the other way. And this, I think, needs to be flipped the other way. So. That's good. How do I get into the system once this starts happening. Because I can move into that. Oh. Okay. Uh, that will help, for sure. So then... How 
How do I get out of one and into the other? Is the next question. We are now on the flipped side. So I need the one above me to be flipped independently of me. So... Is it a matter of when I do that? Seems to be about the only thing I can directly influence, doesn't it? So I'm clearly not getting out there. How do I manipulate them independently of each other? I mean, I guess you can't because they are in the same chain of moving pieces. I guess I can decide when they start off together one way or the other, right? That one's not right. There's going to be some pairing where this works. So, backwards L, backwards L does not work. Because I can't come out of here and into there, which is the problem. So, if backwards L, backwards L doesn't work... Double backwards L is just going to be the same thing, except now it's above me. Perhaps that makes a difference. It does make a difference. So if I do a full cycle of this now, I can escape. Okay, let's try this. We've unlocked the next stage, but no idea what that's going to involve. Now, you go in there, goes in there. Is that what I needed to try and finish? Interesting. How am I going to get out of this? What is this even for? Wait. That seems... helpful. Though I am unsure to what end. I think I need to use the yellow pieces... Mm, no. I'm just going to use the yellow pieces to, like, change the order of the red stuff so I can make a corridor of two red pieces here, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Oh! That was something I probably should have noticed sooner. Okay. So then can I do this? And then... I need that and then that but then I need the ye the other yellow one back so where am I going to put 
the first yellow one so that I can move it across to the second one. Well, this doesn't have to be here for a start. I think I want it possibly in here. Though I'm not sure about that either. If I come in here, I come out of here. So I need to go into the light yellow to come out of the dark yellow. And then go down into the target tile. I just need access to both of them. Which is obviously the hard part. But we've got it. Just the right order of operations, and it's all good. How about you? Okay. I need to get lots of stuff down, which is interesting. Now I'm just playing, obviously. I can move that out into infinity and this to the left. I can also do... No, I can't do that. This is back to where we started. How do I get to where I want to be? So, when I go in, I am next to the same... There's currently five reds in a row. That doesn't work. Now I am on the right of green. But if I do this, now I'm one to the right of green. And I can deposit one down. Then I need to be... Two on the right of green. We can swing across. And I can put one down. Then I need to be... Four to the right of green. We can swing round. Put one down. I go to the top. Very nice. Am I going to dare try this? Well, it's not one of the ones that's all of uh, the code characters instead. Someone said I should press 9. Oh, 9 is slow motion. 8 changes the color palette. 7 does that. I knew that one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Doesn't do anything. So six, seven, eight. I can't remember where we started on this one now. Nine is slow motion. That's great to know. Thank you, dear commenters. I appreciate you. So if I put this here and this here. Ugh, why are you in like oblong shape pieces? No, I, I, my brain can't. All right, well, 
that's coming on a half hour we got a lot done today the next section is called player no idea but we'll find out next time thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the series please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button if you have any questions or comments you can put those down below otherwise i'll see you in the next one cheers